Hey guys, Mike here from Ball and Boas, and right now I'm holding my oldest boa, and her name is Dottie, and she is a BCI Colombian, just a uh, big normal girl, and she's actually in shed right now. She's really cloudy, really cloudy underneath here, and her eyes are starting to haze over a little bit. But as you see, she's a uh, good-sized girl, and she's my oldest girl here. She's um, 12 years old. She'll be 13 years old in um, October. I don't know exactly what day in October. I just know she'll be 13 years old in October. But she's a really, really good girl, and she's really tame. And when she is out of shed, she has some really, really nice colors. And um, for a regular, she's just a, you know, just a normal, you know, she's just a really good looking girl. And uh, she's a big girl. And, uh, you know, she's just a all around great snake, guys. As you see, she's really calm, cool, and collected. And uh, anytime I, you know, bring, bring uh, snakes out to show any kids or anything like that, I always, Dottie is a great ambassador for that. You know, she's just really, really uh, cool. And like I said, she's going to be my favorite in the collection. She is my oldest. And she uh, basically started it all off for me here with the boas. She's the first boa that I've ever had. Right here is Dottie. Like I said, almost 13 years ago. And before that, I had um, I had a, another Burmese python before that. It was actually an albino green Burmese. A patternless albino green Burmese. But we had to get rid of it when it got huge. And before that, I had a small Nile monitor and some other reptiles. But once I got into the boas, I just fell in love with them and uh, kind of took off from there. And we currently have 17 boas in the collection. And we also have um, 16 leopard geckos. Well, soon to be uh, 15. We're going to be uh, sending one out soon. We're going to be sending one out to TJ's Reptiles. Oh, and everybody, make sure you um, go to TJ's Reptiles and uh, give a look at his channel and uh, give him a subscribe. He has a great channel. A lot of great info over there. He's a great kid. So um, anyone, you guys should definitely go over there and uh, help his channel out and subscribe. I'm going to be sending him a uh, leopard gecko soon. It's a baby. And it's a nice, beautiful female. Look, Well, it's looking to be a female. It's kind of too early to tell. But um, if I had to guess, I'd say it was a female. But I want to be sending that out as a gift from us here at Ball and Boas to him. So that's going to be really cool. And uh, we already set it up, and so we're just going to wait for it to eat a little bit more and get a little bit bigger. So probably another 10 or 12 days we'll be sending that out. So again, guys, TJ's Reptiles, you know, give it a look. Definitely give it a subscribe. But yeah, Dottie is a great, great ambassador for, uh, for big snakes, guys. Like I said, she is just so cool, so calm. And I tried to breed her last year. I gave her about five weeks, five and a half weeks on and off with a male. She didn't ovulate. I tried to breed her this year for a little bit longer. I gave her about seven or eight weeks um, on and off with two different males and she still didn't ovulate. So I think I'm going to maybe try her one more time next year. And if she doesn't go, then I'll probably never put her through it again. Because like I said, I mean, boas can live 25, 30 years, but at, at going on 13, she's getting to be pretty old and... Um, you know, uh, breeding, I would say, should start to slow down around 13 to 15 years on a boa. So, um, like I said, if she doesn't go next year, um, I'll never try again. And if she does go next year and she does have a litter, that will probably be the only time I breed her anyways. But, all right, guys, let me get her back. Uh, cause I don't like to interrupt her and make her too uncomfortable for too long. But this is Mike from Ball and Boa saying peace.